Is, is it working? Is it, is it? All right, hi guys, I'm Adam. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Steven Johnson's books, where good ideas come from. And we're Okay, hey, can we help? Yeah, you guys can help. Okay, thank you. Hi guys, I'm Jasmine. And I'm Paola. And we're gonna be talking to you guys about platforms and the adjacent possible. And don't forget about the steel plow. <laughs> this video is sponsored by Steven Johnson. And Siki. Now we're gonna ask people if they know who Steven Johnson is. Okay. Um, hi, do you know who Steven Johnson is? No, I don't. <laughs> yeah, Brian. <laughs> oh, hi, I didn't notice you there. I had a question. Do you by any chance know who Steven Johnson is? <laughs> Fucking hard crowd. Let's ask him if he can interview their dog. Okay. Hi, do you know who Steven Johnson is? Excuse me, sir, do you know who Steven Johnson is? No. <laughs> now you know. I think we should interview that one guy over there. The fat one in the suit? No, the one in line. <laughs> do you know who Steven Johnson is? No, I do not! <laughs> okay, Anybody know who Steven Johnson is? Anybody at all? Anybody? Does anybody know who Steven Johnson is? Anybody? Do you by any chance know who Steven Johnson is? Steven Johnson? Yes. You're like, you mean like Long Johnson? No, Steven Johnson. No, I do not. Right over this book. No, I do not. Okay. Looks like no one here knows who Steven Johnson is. So, apparently here at the mall, no one knows who Steven Johnson is, the author of Where Good Ideas Come From. But we're still going to be talking about two of his concepts, platform and the adjacent possible. Come on, guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't give you my consent to put me on this, and if you upload it to the media, I will um, sue. <laughs> Excuse me, could I ask you a question? Yeah, what's up? Do you by any chance know what the adjacentable possible is? No, I do not. <laughs> Thank you. They got a little sidetrack, just, just a little. Do you know what the adjacent impossible is? The what? The adjacent possible. Okay. In other news, we got kicked out of the mall. Right, we got a little present for you. What's the present? Ah! Oh, testing, testing. <laughs> the adjacent possible is basically out of necessity, people create easier solutions for themselves. As an example, a man created an incubator out of spare car parts instead of buying a $40,000 incubator. So out of necessity, he used what was around him. Where's the, where's that page? Where's the page? I'm doing the adjacent impossible and using what's around me. To do what? <laughs> to cover up the rain. <laughs> to cover up the rain. <laughs> Alright guys, so we've pretty much been kicked out of every store that we got to and we kind of don't know what to do. And it's rain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, Holly was closed today, um, but we'll get him next time. Next time. Let, Let me in! in. Let, Let me in! in. Let me in! Hi everybody, we're going to be talking about the steel plow for the 60 seconds. Go! The wooden plow was created in the 6th century BC. Go! John Deere created the steel plow in 1837. He used what was around him, to, which was molten iron, to create it. <laughs> 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 Hi guys, so that was my video. Um, we've been kicked out of Walmart, Target, Guitar Center, basically everywhere we tried hindering people. So we're going to finish off with a little mukbang here. Um, I'm going to explain to them how the adjacent possible and the platform, those two lenses are linked to the steel plow. Okay, so the adjacent possible is basically out of necessity, their concepts created that help form solutions for certain things. Like you guys are talking about like the Toyota truck parts. They help create new nurture, which basically is a uh, feeder for babies. And so of necessity, they use whatever rules around them to create that. And John Deere had the steel mills, which basically he used to make it a mold cast to make the steel plow. John Borden plow, he created the steel plow, feeding myself. And platforms, 
platform, basically how I explained it was the satellite was formed in order for them to create like the global positioning system, which was another platform for them to pass on the network, which is the internet, probably more than more platforms. And there's such platforms related to skill plow, as in there was already a wooden plow existing in real life. And so all John Deere did in 1837 was on top of that platform created the skill plow, which basically we used to break through dirt to create to grow new drops, crops. Basically that is the So thank you for watching my video and explaining to them. We're gonna continue with our mukbang. Bye. I'm yeah. <laughs> it's like a it's like a staring contest. What? Remember that's America's ass. It's like yeah. I'm gonna be famous one day, bitch. Hi, do you by any chance know who Steven Johnson is? Alright, thanks.